Welcome back Syracuse Math Kitties. In today's video we are going to do page 5 of your Spectrum Math Packet. It says lesson 3.4 solving complex one variable equations. As we always do let's review the sample problem and then we're gonna then I'm gonna you know work through a couple of these and then you should be able to do the rest on your own. All right so what it says some problems with variables require more than one step to solve. Use the properties of equality to undo each step and find the value of the variable. So we start out with 2n minus 7 equals 19. So we need to get the n all by itself. We're going to work through this step by step. First, undo the subtraction by adding. So you're going to undo this 7. You're going to move this 7 over to the other side. So 2n minus 7, you copy over the original, plus 7 equals to 19, you copy over the original, plus 7, all right? So negative 7 plus 7 is 0, so you end up having 2n equals to 19 plus 7 is 26. Now the next step is undo the multiplication by dividing. So you divide by 2 both sides and you end up having n equals 13. Right? If you have this one right here, n divided by 3 plus 5 equals 11. So again, we're going to do this in small steps. First, you undo the addition by subtracting. So you're going to take this 5 and move it to the other side. How do you do that? Well, you subtract 5. So n divided by 3 plus 5, that's what was there originally. Then you go minus 5 equals, all right? 11 minus 5. So the fives on the left side cancel out and you're left with n divided by 3 equals to 11 minus 5 is 6. So now do you have your n all by itself, your variable? No, you don't. You still have to do some more work in order to get the n by itself. So now you are going to do undo the divi you're going to undo the division by multiplying. So you have n divided by 3 the opposite of dividing is multiplying. So you're going to multiply by what? You're going to multiply by 3 to get rid of these 3s. So you have to do the same thing on both sides. So n divided by 3 times 3 equals to 6 times 3. The 3s cancel. You end up with n equals to 6 times 3 is 18. There you go. I'm going to then gonna work through a few of these problems here for you. So let's do... Number 1a from your page 5 in your spectrum math packet, 1a. So 1a says 2n plus 2 equals 16. So let's take this step by step. Our ultimate goal is to get n all by itself. So first thing, let's just subtract 2 from both sides, minus 2, minus 2. What do we get? Well, we still have 2n is left. 2 and minus 2 cancel. Equal to 16 minus 2 is 14. Is n by itself? No, it's not. So let's now divide both sides by 2 in order to get n by itself. The 2s cancel. So n is equal to 7. Let's do the next one. Let's do... 1b. 1b says a divided by 3 minus 1 equals to 4. Okay, so let's get our a all by itself. This is our variable right here. First step is a divided by 3 minus 1. Opposite of subtraction is addition, so then plus 1 equals to 4. If we have added a number to the left, we also have to add it to the right. So 4 plus 1. So one minus 1 plus 1 is 0. So then we have only a divided by 3 left on the left side equal to 5. So now what do we do? Well, we can now multiply. This right here is division. So we're going to multiply both sides by 3. Okay, these threes cancel, so that's a is equal to 15. All right, 
So let's do 8b. 8b says x over 7 plus 14 equals 22. First step, we are going to subtract 14 from both sides. Okay, so then these two 14s cancel out. So we only have x divided by 7 divided by 22. What is 22 divided by, I'm sorry, what is 22 minus 14? That is 8. Okay, and then what we're going to do, we're going to multiply both sides by 7. These 7s cancel, so x is equal to 8 times 7, which is 56. That is your answer. Other than that, next video, we are going to work on page 6, which is solving two variable linear equation systems.